Hello everyone and welcome to another tutorial. So a few years ago I made a tutorial on how to add drivers to shape keys in Blender and a lot of people really like that but it's quite outdated. So I'm going to be showing you how to add drivers to shape keys in Blender 2.83. I'm using the Blender 2.83 alpha version. So you can see here we have um, a character and this character I'm going to be making available for free in the description below on BlendSwap. It's one of my own characters and it's a Blender 2.8 and all it is is just the upper body mesh of this female character. But I'm going to be going through how to just to add in these simple head bones here. But the main tutorial is going to be focusing around how to add these little driver bones to shape keys. So I've got some shape keys on this model here. I'm going to go through all of it. And when you pull one of these bones up, you can see it is causing, a, it's driving a shape key. And this one here on the right as well. It's pretty fun to do. Um, I'll just quickly go here and show you. So these shape keys, I'm going to be adding some drivers. I'm going to be showing you how to um, edit the drivers and also we're going to be going through some of the things in this little window here. It's not as hard as it looks, so it is a little bit advanced, but once you get it, it'll make a lot of sense. And yeah, so let's get into it. Once again, this model is available in the description below. Go ahead and download it. Okay, so let's get started. So whether you've gone ahead and you've downloaded my scene in the description below on BlendSwap or you have a character of your own or a model, it doesn't matter. Um, just get it opened up and what we're going to do is select the mesh geometry that we want to add the shape key to. In this case, it's going to be the head here, the this mesh over here. And once we've selected that, what we're going to do is go over here to our object data properties. It's this little green triangle here with the points on it. And then we'll come here to our shape keys. Now we're going to hit the plus and that's going to create what's called a basis. Now if we hit the plus again, anything it creates after that point is going to be our keys. So this is a key one, and if we hit it one more time, it's key two, and so on, and so it'll keep going. So if you hit it, you guys get the point. So what we're going to do is select this key one, and we're going to tab into edit mode with that key one selected. It's very important that you don't accidentally select this one. You want to make sure it's your key one. Also, you don't want to extrude or add in any new geometry. We just want to move our vertices around. So make sure you're in vertex select here. Okay, you don't want these two, just a vertex select. Also, you want to make sure that any of the symmetry tools here are not enabled. So in this case, the X mirror is enabled, so disable it. So all of these should be gray. And we're going to come here, enable our proportional editing. This is going to make things easier for us as it's going to give, um, it's going to edit it proportionally. So we also want to set this to sphere over here. And you can try some of these ones here if you um, want to get different results, but I like the sphere. And what I'm going to do is to select any of the vertices here in the corner of the mouth. And now if we go G and we move that vertice um, and we roll our middle mouse wheel in or up, it's going to decrease the proportional um, editing effect here. So I'm going to keep rolling it down until I get a smaller effect like this. And I'm going to move this vertice up to about here and then rotate it a little bit. Okay, so just creating a smile. Now you can spend as much time on this as you want. I would recommend you actually look at references of smiles online. It can be one of those things that's really hard to get right um, because our brains are just so good at picking up like fake faces and it can be quite uncanny. So just mess around with it as much as you want. But I'm just gonna create a really basic smile here like this, All right? So if we tab out of edit mode and we come to this key one and we drag this value slider up we can see our character now has a nice little smile. And we can also name this smile dot capital L. And I like to put extensions on things. It's just gonna make things a lot more organized for us. And it's a very good habit to get into. So with this smile dot L, you can see here, if we decrease it, there's no smile. If we increase the value to one, there is a smile. So what we wanna do, instead of having to do all of this on the other side again, because this character is perfectly geometri geometrical, right? It's exactly the same on both sides. Um, we can do something really cool. So what we're going to do is instead of, um, so I'll just show you. So click the plus here, okay? And then click on this little arrow here. And by the way, make sure this smile.l is set to a value of one. And then select this key two and click on this little drop down here. And what we're going to do is go new shape from mix. Okay, so I don't think we had to even select that, but it'll just create a new shape key here. So key three. And then we're gonna click on this little arrow again and we're gonna go down and we're gonna go um, mirror shape key, okay? And now with that key free, if we select it and we drag this value up to one, it's gonna create a smile on the other side as well that's perfectly mirroring 
smile.l. So let's just get rid of this key two here. And let's just rename this key three to smile.r. Okay. So smile.l and smile.r. Right side and the left side. So let's just set them both back down to zero. So there we have our two shape keys. Now you could come in here and add as many different shape keys as you want. You could hit the plus and make a jaw going down, a mouth opening up. You could make a nose twitch. You can make the eyes close. You can do all sorts of things. But just for this example, I'm gonna work with these two shape keys. Just this smile and this smile over here. Okay, so now we're gonna go ahead and add in some bones to the scene here. So I'm just gonna kind of like pretend I'm rigging a character but I won't be doing all the parts of the body. So I'm just gonna go Shift A, go down to Armature, we're gonna add in a single bone, and then we're gonna go into Edit Mode with that bone selected. And this bone, we're just gonna take this nub at the top, move it down to here, bring this guy out here, and then select this little nub at the top and go E to extrude it, and this is gonna be the neck bone. And then E one more time, and this is just gonna be our head bone, right? So if you were gonna usually, say for example, you were rigging a full character, just like you normally would, you'd have your your chest here, the you'd have your neck, and then you'd have your head bone. Now I'm not gonna be doing the rest of the body, obviously, I'm just doing this little top part, because we're mainly focusing on the drivers and the little bones that we're gonna be connecting to the head bone to control the drivers. So I'm just gonna quickly name these bones here. So I'm just gonna select this bottom one, I'm gonna to go to, um, click on this tab here. Oh, okay, the bones tab here, go down and name this bone here, um, chest. And I'm gonna name this one here, neck. And then I'm gonna name this head bone here, head. Okay, so what we're gonna do is create two bones that are going to be our driving bone. So I'm gonna select this bone here, okay, the head bone. I'm gonna go Shift D, I'm gonna bring it over to the side here and then S to scale it down. Then I'm gonna to go to my right view, orthographic view. I'm gonna go G and I'm gonna move it down here to the corner of the mouth. Now you can place this wherever you want, but get it as close to the, the area where you have the, um, the shape key effect happening. Okay, so I'm also just gonna straighten this guy out by going S, Y, zero, and I'm hitting enter. So it's nice and straight, and I'm just placing it right here. In the corner of the mouth, as close as I possibly can. So I'm just gonna put it right there, and I'm gonna rename this guy. So over here, I'm gonna come and name it, smile dot, and I'm gonna call it capital L, and hit enter. And because we've named this guy smile.capital L, if we come here to armature, we can go and hit this symmetrize button. And it's going to create one perfectly on the other side. And it's also going to automatically give it the naming convention here, smile.r. And that's really good. That's exactly what we want. So let's quickly parent these two. So hold, hold in shift when you select this one and then select the other one. So they're both selected and then still holding in shift, select the head bone here. And then we're gonna go control P and we're gonna go make parent and keep offset. So now both of these bones are parented to the head here. And what we can also do is just as, as a good thing with driver bones, you don't want them to be deforming. So over here in the bone properties, just turn off deform for this bone here. And then for the one on the right as well, just turn off deform. So the only bones that are gonna be deforming bones are these ones over here but not these little driver bones. And yeah, so let's get into the next part. Okay, so let's start with the next part. So what I'm gonna do is just select these bones over here. And let's go over here and click on this little man here. And we're gonna to go to viewport display. And we're gonna enable the axes here. Okay, and that's gonna show us the local axes of each of these bones. So you can see this bone here has a local Y, a local Z, and a local X. So that's different in our world setting. So our world has its own um, 3D space. So it has uh, a global Z, which goes up. It has a global X, which goes like this, and a global Y. But we're gonna be working with the local um, axes of the bones. In this case, pointing upwards, we can see that it's the local Y that's pointing up. And that's the one we're gonna be using because we're gonna be moving our bone up to trigger this, um, this uh, smile over here. So if that's done, we now know what the local axis is we're gonna be using. It's the local Y, keep that in mind. Let's go over into our object mode. And then what we're gonna do is select our character over here, our mesh. And let's start with the top one here, the smile.l. So we're gonna come over here, hover over it, we're gonna right click, and we're gonna go add driver. And this little window is gonna pop up. Now if you accidentally go out and you lose that window, 
don't worry, all you have to do is right click and go to edit driver. Okay, so what we're gonna do over here is we're gonna come down and we're gonna go to object and we're gonna go and give this the armature. And then we're gonna select what bone in our armature we want to be triggering this smile.l. In this case, it's going to be, so click on it over here and make it the smile.l. And that should be it. Okay, also the type here, we need to set to average value. That's also very important. And to make things a bit easier, we're gonna click over here on show driver editor. So it's gonna show it in the driver editor. And what we wanna do is click on this key over here, just this one over here, drop it down, and we're gonna click on value smile.l. And you can see here, these are these exact same settings we were looking at before. It's the variable, and we have the object as the armature, and the bone here is the smile.l. Now, like I said before, we don't wanna be working with world space, so we're gonna take the type here, and we're gonna make it the um, Y location. So that's what we determined earlier we're gonna use. And then let's go to our space here. And we, like I said, we don't wanna work off world space. We wanna work off the local space. So when we move that bone up and down on its local Y, that's gonna be what um, is gonna be our trigger. Then what we're gonna do is go over to our modifiers. We're gonna add a modifier and we're gonna add a generator. And then what we're gonna do is come down here to this value here. Now, whatever we make this is gonna determine how much, um, so how can I explain this? So if I make this value really low, I might have to move my um, bone up quite a lot before it starts to bring this effect, um, the shape key effect in. If I put this value higher, it's gonna happen quicker. So I'm gonna come and I'm just gonna do something like a value of 14 for now. It might be too much, it might be too little, we'll see how it goes. And with that done, um, let's just go back to our drivers and just make sure to update the dependencies. And let's just minimize this window and let's test it out. So I'm gonna select my uh, rig here. I'm gonna go into pose mode. And then I'm gonna select this smile.l bone and I'm gonna go G and just move it up. And there we can see it is now triggering, triggering that shape key, which is exactly what we want. So let's repeat that quickly on the other side, real easy. So let's go back into object mode, select our character here and let's go to smile.r right click on it and we're gonna go add driver and let's do the same thing. So the type here, we're gonna make averaged value. Go to your object here and just make it the armature. The bone we're gonna be selecting is the smile.r this time because it's on the right side. And let's make it the local y. So go y location and let's make it local space since we're not working with the world space over here. And then also just bring that, open that up again, go edit driver. And let's go down here to show driver and editor. And now what we're gonna do is click on this value, smile.r over here. And we already have all of these settings put in. So that's correct. So let's go over to our modifiers. And we're gonna do the same thing we did with smile.l. So click add modifier. We're gonna add in a generator. And let's go down and we're gonna do the same thing. So I'm gonna type in 14. Now, if you wanted to bring the bone down for whatever reason, say for example, you're making a frown and you created a shape key for that, you could always just come in here and type in negative 14. That means if you brought it down by a, a measurement of 14 negative, it will then do the effects. I'll quickly show you here. If I just went negative 14 and just got my drivers, update dependencies, and let's just quickly test that just to show you guys as an example. So now instead of moving this guy up, because I made it negative, now when I move it down, it's gonna put that effect into play. So if you guys wanted to do that for whatever reason, just so you understand how that works. So I'm just gonna go back and quickly make that the proper way. So I'm gonna go edit driver, just open up show driver editor, click on this one again, come to the modifiers, and I'm just gonna make it positive 14 instead of negative. And go to drivers and just update the dependencies. So anyway, that is as simple as it is. And this exact same thing here can apply to any sort of shape keys that you do. If you wanted to, for example, move this bone along the local X, then all you'd have to do is go there into your driver settings and set it to local X and give the amount, the amount of units you wanted to move before it starts um, triggering the shape key. And yeah, so you guys, I hope you understand this. I know it seems a little bit advanced, but I tr trust me, once you do it enough and you kind of see um, how it all works, it's gonna become really straightforward. It's, I know it's a little bit overwhelming, so I hope you guys were able to follow along. And um, like I said in the beginning, this file is available below on BlendSwap. It's free, and yeah, I'll see you guys later. Stay safe, goodbye.